Hello, good evening. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, good evening. Good evening, everybody. How was your Friday? What are your expectations for the weekend? What are your plans? Yes? I listen to you. Mm -hmm. I wish uh, rest tomorrow. <laughs> I wish I would rest tomorrow. Are <laughs> yes. you able to or you have to work? No, I it's able. I will be able I to. Have a day off. Yeah. Oh nice. But you usually rest on, on Saturdays or this is your lucky weekend? No, I, I always um uh, when I I don't work. Oh you don't work on, on the weekend. Saturdays. All right. Yeah. Saturdays and Sundays. Yeah. Nice. Thank God. Thank God. Was this an easy week? I'm sorry? Was this an easy week? Um <clears throat> it was um, it was okay. It was okay. It was fine. Yeah. Thank you. Nice. Thank you for sharing. All right. Thank Someone you. else? Someone else? How do you feel about this end of the week, this Friday, and how you plan to spend your weekend? I will begin to prepare something for my graduation. Tomorrow I will try to, to buy tela, I don't know. Fabric. Fabric uh, to to uh, mandar a hacer, I don't know. To get a suit made. Okay, to get a suit made. Really? So I, tailored. Tailored. Oh, nice. And when is your graduation? In November 4th. Really? November 4th? From university? Mm -hmm. Engineering. Economist. Economy. Economies. Oh my God. Congratulations. Thank you. Oh wow. That feels so great. Yes. <laughs> mm -hmm. You can also go maybe price hunting, not only for fabric, but also for suits that are mm -hmm. already made. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can try a couple yeah. of suits on, you know, Absolutely. at least you're going to have. Mm -hmm different perspective different opinions so you have different styles so then at the end you can decide mm -hmm, yes that's a good one are you gonna do that here in san salvador or in another place in san salvador, in san salvador? or maybe in, in antiguo because in they're antiguo. In, yeah in the world someone recommend me uh taylor that oh, uh, really a professional tailor. Mm, I don't know, but uh, most of the people of the world say that they go there when they need something like that. So All I right. want to see. So trustworthy, mm -hmm. <laughs> a trustworthy, reliable tailor. Nice. Oh, wow, that's so cool. Anyone else? I like to hear these stories. <laughs> Uh -huh. any other plans for the weekend anyone who wants to describe how this week was interaction yes yeah, someone else I do appreciate the participations we have already those were really cool Mm -hmm. Well, what about Stephanie? 
Good evening, teacher. Hi, good evening. How was your week and how do you how do you plan to spend your weekend? Um it was a very stressful week. Really? Yes. Why? Because I have too much work. And you're still working? Yes. <laughs> really? Still working. Yes. And still working on a Friday night. Yeah. <laughs> 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 yeah, it sounds like somebody might need another job. <laughs> I want another job, yeah. All right. Any vacation. <laughs> yes, true. And how long have you been working for this place? Uh in December I got to reach a year. A year. Yes. Mm, and what do you like the most? That I have the possibility to work, uh, and at home from home from to do base. home office. Yes. Okay. Nice. Oh wow. Well, I see some people are writing on the chat. I think, yeah, that was good evening. I'll be do some driving to my grandfather's house in the traffic of Los Chorros. It's really heavy. You know, there's something I really feel sad for those people who have to drive to Los Chorros. <laughs> uh, I don't imagine myself driving in Los Chorros. Sorry to hear that. Actually, I have never, I have never done that. Thank God. So they say it's a tough, tough, tough task to do. All right. What about Victor? Do we have Victor here today? No. What about Manuel? Um, I will con I continue sick and I talk uh feel better. In, in the... <laughs> you are still sick. Yeah. But you take the medication. Yes. Yeah, keep taking it because otherwise you won't get better. Yes, thank you. All right, feel better. Okay. Any other question you would like to participate? To break the ice? Don't be shy. The only way you're going to speak another language is by speaking. Mm -hmm. Anyone? Good evening, teacher. Hello, good evening. Good news. Sorry? Good news. Yes, <laughs> being home. <laughs> Finally, you are at home. Yeah, finally, I actually we we practice some differing activities with the company today. Atilio is driving. It's still driving because he lives yeah. far away. Yeah. Far away. Where does he live? Aguachapan. Atilio lives in Aguachapan. In you? Lourdes. Oh, but you usually work in Aguachapan. No, in Western Sun, Sun Sonate, Huachapan, Santa Ana. So today you were not very far from your home. No, today I I be in San Salvador Volcano for oh, activity. Oh, really? So you have a team? Yes. yes. A team building activity. Yes. Oh, wow. We practice cycling and paintball. Nice. And Pura Tillo driving all the way to Huachapan. Yes. And why didn't he stay in your house? <laughs> he could have stayed in your house and you visit the classes together. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Because but... riding to Japan is so many hours and so many kilometers. Only two <laughs> hours. Really? 
Yes. After los chorros. After los chorros, yes. <laughs> yes. yes. When you are really one, driving. One hour and a half. An hour and a half. Oh, wow. Do you say, uh, how do you say what? How do you say redondel? Roundabout. Roundabout. Only uh, traffic. Much, much traffic. Mm -hmm. Where are you yes. now? Arriving to Sonsonate. Where are you now? Arriving to Sonsonate, near, close. No, he's in Aguachapan. He's in Aguachapan already. Yes. Oh, wow. So he's I see the background. <laughs> almost at home. Almost at Clean. home. Ya casi estás en la casa. Ya I think he, he's not able to listen to you. Uh -huh. But you finished the activities early. Mm, six o'clock, I think. Six o'clock. All right. All right. Well, thank God you had a different, a different day, a different journey this day. Well, good. I see. It's different, but it's painful. <laughs> <laughs> Because they were they were hitting you, <laughs> they were Oops. shooting you. <laughs> yeah, we hold the mountain with the bicycle. It's it's difficult. Uh, uh, run a bike. Really? Yes. Wow. Yeah, I know. It's demanding. It's really demanding and challenging to do all this yes. physical activity. All right. Okay, nice. Well, I'm glad that you are going to be able to be participating more actively in class today and that you're not going to be working, so you're going to be really in class. <laughs> okay, <laughs> nice. Well, someone else might be willing to participate. Hi, teacher. Good evening. Hey, good evening. Tell us, how was this week and how do you plan to spend your weekend? Or what are the plans for the weekend? Well, practically, I know, well, working is still working because we're in a, an updating, updating some systems in, in a retail store. You Continue. Know. Yeah, and <laughs> also we, we have... I will have to go to be physically to the store in order to verify the well function from the, of the system. Mm -hmm. Yeah. But now, well, I was able to get it remotely to, today mm -hmm. because, well, the technicians are installing physically the, the equipment, right? The hardware. But also, I, hardware, yeah. So, okay. but I, I have to be aware when they call me to try to reach. The, the computers in mm -hmm. order to configure the, the software. All right. But I will be able here here to be attending okay, the class. Nice. Oh wow, people, you do lots of sacrifices because I think this is more than a network because we do effort like in in daytimes so, on um let's say normal schedules, but being is still working at night and being is still able to attend classes. That's a huge sacrifice. Yeah, but you know, yeah, it's 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 sacrifice. But you know, in these cases, uh, well, we are come uh, the um, how can I say the like, temporada alta? A high season. The high season is coming, the, and all stores want to be ready for that. For sure, <laughs> especially when when Black Friday is around the corner. <laughs> oh yeah! So people go crazy for Black Friday since October, and Black Friday is supposed to be the last Friday of November. But I mean, yeah, companies and business have to get ready. Be, I mean, a lot before, ahead of time, right? Yeah, that's right. Nice. All right, thank you for sharing. Well, I, actually, I love this, this type of conversation, you see? Okay. You're able to communicate, nice. Someone else?
No. No, no, no. Well, great. I'm glad at least uh, some of you were able to communicate and express your ideas. I know you can do it very well. And if we do it more often, more actively, it would be a lot more beneficial for developing reading. I mean, listening, comprehension, and fluency. All right. Well, I'm going to share a little bit of this week for us, uh, the, uh, the foundation I work for. It was a very busy, different, and productive week, I would say. The first two days were really uh, anxious because we had a very important event on Wednesday. That's like one of the most important events along the year, and it's developed. It's a, they call it Expo, but it's, it's kind of a, of achievement that is developed by the second year of the students from the second year. And they start working on digital projects since the beginning of the year. So they take programming classes and some of them really have to work hard because it's something that they don't develop in one or two classes, right? So they have to work really hard for many months for a month and then they have to present, they have to explain, they have they have to demonstrate how their project works and they have to do it in English. So <laughs> they have a big challenge. So on that day they presented and many people were like really interested. Many people attended visitors from the program that I work for come and, and want to see what they are able to do. So it was a, a really hectic week working on that event for the preparation and the day of the preparation itself, I mean, the day of the presentation itself. And the next day, many of them were like really, really tired, which was yesterday Thursday so classes were canceled thank god we were just doing um some administrative work some paperwork and besides uh, lots of meetings a lot of meetings trying to adjust the calendars with the weeks and the days that we have pending for this year and that was it so thank god yesterday we were able to leave work a little bit earlier I guess for the very first time in the whole year. And today, again, the uh, students returned and it was kind of busy because they, I mean, they hadn't had the celebrations for Children's Day, so it was postponed until today. Thank God some of the former uh, graduates came to help to volunteer, to develop the activities. So they were having fun, like kind of team building activities, uh, outdoors and piñatas, candies, and snacks. So it was fun, it was fun, but I was not very involved because we are kind of behind with some, um, with some reports we have to prepare. So I was working on that and yeah, it was, normal schedule even though I worked really really hard I was not able to finish with everything I wanted to but um, I'm, I'm almost there so that's been my week and I wish you know I could rest like somebody said at the beginning I'm planning to rest a little bit though I have a class tomorrow in the morning but it's online so I don't have to move and for lunch, I already got an invitation for lunch, so I think I'm gonna be driving all the way to uh, a restaurant probably, and then, uh, yeah, I plan to, to do some other errands, but thank God, it has been really great. It's been really great. It's been really rewarding, really nice. So everything is going to get better. 
Okay, well, after all this talking, we have time to have the attendance. And let me get the attendance. All right, here it is. Let me get, let me get there, Abigail. Good evening, teacher. Good evening, Atilio. Stephanie. Present. Emerson. Present. Fernando. Francisco. Hazel. Julissa. Julie, Julie. Not here. Okay, Carla. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. This is Javier. Luis Miguel. Present teacher. Magdiel. Present teacher. Hello, Manuel. Present teacher. Marlene. Present. Mario. Roberto Saúl. Good evening, teacher. Good Present. Evening. Ronald. Present. Victor. Vidal. Waldir. Present. Juan, oh no, Carlos Alberto. All right. Nice. Let me see. Yes. All right. Some people say pressing on the chat. Okay. <laughs> Thanks. Well, as I was mentioning, yes, we keep going on the lessons from this unit about logistics. So this is our class number 10. Yay, making progress. And of course, the usual reminders to be in class, the attendance, the time that you got to be in class, the times that I'm going to be calling your names on the attendance. And then definitely the other reminders, okay? To be in the conference also. These are the main objectives for the last, for the unit two. The relevance of the seven hours in logistics is for the advantages of outsourcing a uh, third-party logistics service provider, sketch a basic plan, or select a third-party logistics, send a basic checklist to hire a third-party logistics provider. So this is what the lessons mostly focus on, right? And then, let's see. Yeah, we're going to start on this lesson, a sketch a basic plan to select a third party logistic, okay? So what's important? What do you consider? Imagine you have to select the third party logistics. So how do you pick the right third party logistics or the third PL for your business? Is price the most important criteria to decide on the right third PL, right? So actually three PL, I would say third PL because they that's how they call it third party logistics. So let me show you that from your manual. Mm -hmm. So practically, this is what we are starting with, okay? So this lesson, you'll be able to sketch a basic plan to a third party logistic provider and how do you pick the right third party logistic for your business? So these are the questions 
that we're going to be discussing right at the beginning. So what things, what criteria are important in, in the case you are going to hire, you're going to contract a third party logistic if you have a business and you need to move product, goods, um, raw material or anything, right? So this is what we're going to be discussing. I will give you some minutes for you to think about how to answer this question, what to say about these questions. And then we're going to listen to a conversation, of course, between Bob and Daisy, and they are discussing the opinion of hiring a third-party logistic providers for this soap business, right? If you don't know, if you don't get any idea, maybe you can read the conversation so that you can have some ideas. But this is what we have to answer first. Okay, I'm going to give you two or three minutes. Try to read the questions, try to think about a possible answer. If you want to share your possible answers through the chat, it's also valid, okay? We'll be waiting to read your comments as well.
tomorrow. Okay, let me know if you can see the screen. Uh, yes. Okay. First of all, uh, we are discussing about uh, two questions mm -hmm. or already in the conversation. Uh, I don't know. The, the question the sketch of asset plan to select a 3PL provider is. Uh, is is based on the on the discussion or or what? Um, could be. Teacher says uh, we could uh, discuss the two questions or mm -hmm. or read in the the conversation. That I is know about, it... it's about the the, the same topic. Mm -hmm. I don't know the. If you want, so we can we can start with the questions uh, and after with the reading. But uh, okay. I don't know. What about you? Okay. Mm -hmm. Sounds good. The first question says, uh, "How do you pick the right three PL for your business?" Mm -hmm. um, I think and uh, to be according. To the capacities mm -hmm. of the outsourcing. Mm -hmm. And the second one says uh, if the price is the most important, to mm -hmm. change the size on the right to PL. I think, uh, no, the price isn't, isn't most important. Mm -hmm. It's the most important. Uh, uh, they 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 can management the the business and their experience their I don't know what else mm -hmm. what do you think in my case that, so oh, all go ahead. Mm -hmm. Okay, I think that it's also important uh, the reputation of the TPL company, also uh, the technology that they use if, if it's ad uh, adequate for the for your business, um, and also maybe the the reliability. No, no, only that reputation and technology. Yeah, that's right. Mm -hmm. In my case, I think that aha uh -huh, the, the price I think that is not the best important. I it, it is important in, and is relevant, but um I think that the first the the first step uh, in the process when uh, if you want to hire a true PL provider is to make a uh, a diagnostic about your needs uh, what. What your what is your what is your vision and based on that is what are your needs uh, and and with that on mind you will start to to look recommendations or information about three PL providers and you have to consider I think that the most important is uh, is um, the 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 client service the 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 quality. Uh, I think that these are the most important important things, um, the the most important factor because you will be you will put your 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 confidence in a third party, uh, a part of your business. You will put uh, you will put it in the in hands of of a third party uh, people. So I think that the uh, I will. I will be. I will assure that the the quality of the service is the best. Uh, if if I want to, but sometimes it, it could be cheaper. 
but the results or the or the um, or the following is not the best. So I think that uh, I I think that uh, um, I have to uh, make a diagnosis about my needs. Uh, what I um, what kind of service I want. And, and of course, and obviously the the money is important, right? Because it's, it's my budget. Because uh, it could be sometimes that I want the best service, but I I can afford it uh, because it's, it, it, it could be uh, more expensive. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you have to see also that many companies uh, decide about uh, the outsourcing uh, that is uh, cheap cheaper cheap cheap for mm -hmm. for them um, for them uh, it is an important and the others characteristics mm -hmm. but it is it's, it's common but the correct could be um take take the the, the, the sourcing according to the experience or or mm -hmm. capacities just mm -hmm. i think that that, that some things uh, if I if I don't know anything about outsourcing or TPL providers, the best is the recommendation of of, of somebody uh, of a previous experience, right? That I could that I could recommend me the services of of the of a third party company. So based on the the capacities, the the client service, and a half and an experience with other with other clients. Another case, uh, sometimes person who, who are part of the company, uh, they create another little companies mm -hmm. or to have a, a outsourcing for the same company with, with the, the it's, it's working. Mm -hmm. So the inside the company they create another 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 little companies. Yeah, yeah. I, yes, I, I there are many. <clears throat> I think, but this this sometimes is when the when the company is is so is enough enough bigger uh, for doing that that, that they can. Uh, I I. I don't know. I imagine, but it's just an idea for uh, Simon, uh, for example, because they they have so many. They are so, they they are uh, so much bigger uh, that they can they can have different companies between the 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 big the the big uh, mark, the big trademark, or the big the big brand. Uh huh. Mm -hmm. Because uh, be like this right uh, they have because i think that siman uh, la curacao is from the the same siman so i think that the they uh, maybe they create a, a separated companies that uh, the that are uh, that uh, give service to different to different brands uh, uh, for example sara is from siman too but it is it is is a different a different uh, type of a store, right? But I think that they have this 
company inside of them that they 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 could give service uh, to the, to the all the stores and all the brands that they have. Yes, if I don't know, uh, it's that is called consourcing. When is that? No, uh, no, no. Uh -huh, no, in this case, I think that it's not sourcing because it's it, it's inside the is in uh, inside the 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 company. Uh huh. It, it, it's not a it's not a third party. Uh, just, uh, uh, it when sounds the, like uh -huh. a company, right? But it, it is inside the same. If uh, many companies are like a families or like a, the same owner, uh huh, is um like um I don't know is in Spanish consorcio. Uh huh. It is it, like a. Conglomerate. Uh -huh, conglomerate. Uh huh. It's like a, a group of companies. Uh huh. Uh -huh. But, For example. But, For but example. Uh -huh. uh huh. No. Go ahead. No, I think I was thinking in, in Grupo Roble. Grupo Roble is mm -hmm. the same Metro Centro. Mm -hmm. Other. Multiplaza. Brands. Multiplaza. Uh -huh. uh, they have different brands of uh, of of housing too. Uh, uh, all these projects. El Pedregal is um is from them, is is their own. Uh, all these projects uh, of, of of houses, las arboledas. I don't know if yeah. if if these are are property of them too. Yeah. Uh huh. So, but uh huh. I, I, I don't know. But sometimes I don't know in in, in the case of them because Grupo Roble is is sister company of of Excel of. So facile, so libre. Uh, so what I what I don't know is the is the people that you see that is doing uh, that is cleaning in the in the malls that are doing the the, uh, the cleaning the cleaning assignments. I don't know if they are hired directly by the company or they or they hire an outsourcing company to to do that. Yeah. Um, okay, uh, and then about the conversation, mm -hmm. if you want, it uh, could be reading. Oh, okay, okay, I don't know if you. All right, done. Well, some people are still in the breakout rooms. Let me see. Oh, yes. Let's wait for about some seconds for them to return. Okay, I see. Yes, they're coming. There we go. There we go. Okay. A very interesting topic, actually. Drawing. All right, let's talk about this. Let's start. How do you pick the right 3PL, third party logistics? For your business, 
is price. The most important criteria to decide on the right third party logistics. Such a basic plan to select the third party provider. Okay, the third party logistic provider actually. Yeah, I heard that you were presenting very accurate arguments. Okay, why? Why is it important to analyze, investigate, do research, okay, get recommendation from other people who are using and outsourcing, okay, to move, to transport, to distribute, right, products. All right, anybody would like to participate according to what you already discuss according to what you already um describe with your partner yes anyone what what is it important what Hello, do we have? yes go ahead i think about the first question uh, uh i would do um uh, tender mm -hmm. for pick the right mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and I think the price and um, there are other other things most important than the price okay. for example uh, and um, um, responsibility capacities and experience with uh, another other works so i think that okay so this criteria is more important than just the price okay yeah. their, yes their responsibility their capacity their reputation the recognition right okay nice so after having said all that and after describing Okay, what aspects or what criteria is important when deciding what enterprise, okay, and outsourcing 3PL will provide or we are going to hire, we're going to uh, require their services, right? When we have a business, yeah, definitely. We want to take care of our business, right? And if the company that is going to provide the logistic service is not reliable, probably we're going to lose more than just a couple of coins that we're going to be saving because of the price. So definitely, I believe. Totally agree. So it's time for the conversation. Read the conversation between Bob and Daisy. I'm going to... Give me one second. I'm going to try to move this a little bit. So they are discussing the option of hiring a third-party logistics provider for their sub business. So Bob says, there's no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called their car logistic on Google. This service will help you out with the storage. I don't think so, both. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. That's quite interesting if you ask me. First of all, yeah, they are producing soap. <laughs> and so they are probably having a laboratory in their house. And now they are considering considering actually um hiring this third party logistic provider for moving right for storaging the soap in another place 
So I'm going to read it once again. Then you're going to have the opportunity to practice. And of course, if there's um a word or expression that you are not quite confident with it, we can discuss, right? And let's start. There's no more room in our house for your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. This service will help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the soap is selling like crazy, and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Just a couple of those companies run the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, is there any difficult word to pronounce or meaning or not very clear? Yes, Emerson. Uh, yes, teacher. Well, Tell us. I, already know, I already know the meaning of as far as I know, mm -hmm. but... Um, to the best of my knowledge, I don't know if it's like to translate it uh, para mi conocimiento. I see, literally. Actually, oh, it, uh, very like simple. A, it's like uh, when, 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 when one say, hasta donde yo sé. That would be a more accurate translation. But the meaning, as far as I know, to the best of my knowledge, are very similar expression. Oh, okay. Uh-huh. Hasta donde yo sé, hasta donde estoy consciente. Yes, as far as I'm concerned. Okay. It's to say, I know. <laughs> okay, I'm sure. <laughs> okay. What I know. It's, it's just to make it more fancy, you know, like to make it sound fancier. Mm -hmm. All right. Anything else? Yes, great. Okay, so we can practice and right after practicing, you can definitely answer the questions, right? Because you just read the conversations and answer the questions based on the conversation, definitely. All right, try to read it on your own. And if you still need the screenshot, I'll can, I can share it with you. Let's go. There is no more room in our house for more your organic stuff. Don't you think don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third party service. To the best of my knowledge, the sub is selling like crazy. 
and I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Nice. Now, you are both. Okay. Um, there is no more room in our house for more of your organic soap. Don't you think it's time to take business out of the house? I found something called third party logistic on Google. And uh, the service could help, help you out with the storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire the third party service. Um, to the best of my knowledge, uh, the shop is selling like crazy. And I believe it would, it would help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of the companies from the internet and then we can call them to get some advice. Okay, nice. <clears throat> I don't know if we can answer the question. I think so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, they're having problem with the to the with the story of the show. Oh. Are Bob and Daisy having problems the storage their product? Yes, they are. Mm -hmm. Do they know a lot of about a lot about the uh, triples? No, Bob. It's like uh, something new for him that he knew in that day. And um, Daisy, at least, is like she has like a, a notion, but I don't think that she know a, a lot. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Bob just learned about that. Uh -huh. yes, uh... Just uh... <clears throat> uh, learn about three PL. Yes. In Google. Mm -hmm. On Google. On or in Google? I think it's on because in the test says on Google. Oh, yeah. <coughs> mm. 
Okay. Next one. Maybe. Mm, I think that maybe because they are a small business, maybe uh, they will consider the price because price at least is like a, like a limit. So I imagine that they have like a very limited budget for that. So they yeah. will consider price. All right, everybody's back. Yes. Good. Let's compare. We're gonna have a couple of volunteers to read the conversation first. Raise your hand. Either visually. <laughs> okay, my bien. We need somebody else. Where's my bien? How come? All right, my bien. You start. I'll help you. Okay. Go. There is, huh? Go, go. <laughs> okay. There is no more room in our house for more of your organic sub. Don't you think it's time to take a business out, business out of the house? I found something called third party logistics on Google. This service could help you out with storage. I don't think so, Bob. As far as I know, the business is not big enough to hire a third-party service. To the best of my knowledge, the sub is selling like crazy. And I believe it could help us to sell more. Well, I was actually thinking of outsourcing the packaging. Choose a couple of those companies from the internet and then we can pull them to get some advice. 
Okay, I think there's no more questions regarding the vocabulary. We're fine, we're good. All right. So let's answer the questions. Are Bob and Daisy having problems to store their product? Uh -huh. Are they having problems? No problems. Yes or no? Anyone? Anyone could answer. Yes, they are having problem with uh, storing the the soap, the organic soap. And why do you say that? In the text, both say that. Um, well, well, she asked. He asked about. He asked Daisy if if is if uh, it needs not if. If she thinks it's time to to take the visit out of the house mm -hmm. because we don't have enough space for the organic soap. All right. So it seems that they are having a business, right? A family business, a business at home, but they don't have enough space to store the soap, right? So they're having issues storing the soap. There's not enough space in their house, right? Good. Do they know a lot about 3PLs? Third party logistics? Do they? No, actually, Bob just learned about that on Google. And Daisy, at least she know about, but it's not like she's an expert. Mm hmm just learn just found out just read it on google right on google okay and the last one, do you think Bob and Daisy will consider prices when hiring a third party logistic? Mm -hmm. They will consider the price? Yes. Yes, they will. Most likely they will. They will probably do it because they haven't moved anything. They are still storing everything in the house. That's because they want to save money. And they say um, the business is not big enough. Right. Okay, I'm going to delete all this because I need to scroll down otherwise I'm not able to do it okay I'm going to stop sharing this screen right here and I'm going to share a link for you to work on an exercise that is pretty related to this let me just grab the link right here. Wait a second. And after you have finished, we are going to be able to compare our answers. Wait a second. There you go. Please enter, click on it, and start working on it. Okay, for solving the exercises and in a little while, we're going to compare, we're going to see what we got. If you have questions, you may ask.
Okay, so now look, look at the following words, expressions, and try to list them under the correct issues given below. Ah, okay. Business success. Mm. Yeah. My, my, my managerial skills. Leadership performance and appraisal. Appraisal. Do you know what's the meaning of appraisal? Yeah. Oh. The, the third one. The, the, ah, it's like, I think it's like, it's like compliment song. Um, mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, that, that's, an, that's an only one for me. Uh, okay, mathematics, uh, study to graph, integral, yeah. I hate integral. <laughs> Inventory, finished goods, raw materials, and stock, and from staff, human resources, full time job, and wage. Wake. Okay, so now you're doing this one. Match the words with the definitions. Oh, only that I search for appraisal and it's, it's not, not like I think it's, it's like evaluation. So maybe I think that I'm going to put it here. Mm. Hmm. Because it's an evaluation about the performance of someone. So I think that yeah, maybe it could be. can be the thing. Um, yeah, it could be. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, the that part, yeah, I think that, that that's the only I have to, to fix, but it's okay, I think it's okay. Okay, uh, can you scroll down? Oh, okay. Match the words with the definitions. Carrier, a company with carries good and by growth. Person, person or firm name, firm no. Company that specializes in speed and secure delivery in small goods and package. Mm. I think the the letter C. It could be the number five courier. Mm -hmm. What is a courier? Letter letter C. Mm -hmm. Company, okay. Mm -hmm. Okay. Company that transports or conveys goods. Mm -hmm. Company that transports or conveys goods. I think it's the number two, the freight forwarder. Letter, letter D. Okay. Um, consignee, person of, of our business that arrange documentation and travel facilities for companies dispatching goods to customers. Um, okay, that's the letter. The F, it's a letter six. Okay. <clears throat> Sorry. Okay, the, well, letter E, one, three, and four, okay. Company which carries good by growth. Mm. It could be a letter, the letter uh, number one, I think. Okay. Mm -hmm. It makes sense. Very rare. Very good. Yeah. Okay. So, there is a team four supply and hodge contractor. B and E. B person or firm name in a freight contract. 
to whom goods had been shipped or turned over for care. Number uh, number four is for letter letter B. Yeah. Letter B. Yeah. B C D. And the uh, letter E. So from B. number two is flyer. Letter E, right? E, uh, company e. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. How much English Yeah, we hope so. Okay, let's see. Wow. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh. God. This one are okay and this one are not. Hmm. I think but I don't know that the statistic stat statics graph and integral. I don't know that all for stuff. I um, think that maybe is the order. Because first is graph, and I put it in here. Mm, let's see. Uh, um, let's see. Graph. Mm -hmm. This then will be integral. Uh, it's the last one. Yeah. Inventory goods. So materials. Stock. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Import stuff. Maybe full time job and human resources is more like manager skill. Mm -hmm. mm. Um, for this one, um, this one I'm E was right, this one was also right. So let's think. Um, I well, in the in mathematics, I think the first one uh, could be the integral. Then the graft. Mm. And no, but it's that it's static six, it's wrong. Listing issues. Statistics. <sighs> okay, in mathematics to be first uh, statics. Then in, in or integral, then graph, then in statics, per, sorry, and the last one, graph. Mm, yeah, um, and the last time there was uh -huh, like that, and everything was wrong. <laughs> yeah. Uh, okay, let's see. Uh, oh, so this one there.
Yeah. Okay. Um, so I don't know what can be there. Okay, the last one, let me see. The last one was C and it was C. Performance uh, appraisal, then wage, wage, no, I don't know how to say that. And human uh, resources here. on the staff column. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Performance, uh, pressure. Yeah. And then wage. And for last, human resources. Here, human resources. Yeah. Um, like that? Or... Yeah, that, just like that. Mm. I think that human resources can be because this it was bad the last time. Mm. Mm -hmm. But uh, but uh, I remember that the first one that you were typed was uh, human resources. No, oh, well, okay, yeah, yeah, maybe. You're right. mm -hmm. It is one, uh-huh. Mm. Mm. All human resources. Okay, so. Well, let's do this one, at least. Yeah, yeah okay. Only E and C. Well, in that part, um, oh, I got a here A D. First one was A. So um, um, person of fair name in the fry contract to whom goods fry contract to whom goods have been shipped. Or turn over for care. Mm. 
Well, it could be letter uh, number two, letter B. Okay. Yeah. Okay, then. Company. Let me. Company which carries goods by road. How let's go and try to transport this. Hmm. I think no. Um, number four. No, 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 no. Person or, or business that arrange documentation and travel facility. Ah, uh, the, the letter F is for um, number one. Okay. Maybe number, no. Mm. A is for company which carry goods by. By road. By road. Uh, A, B, C, B, and D. Hmm, come second. D. Company that transports Cambridge goods. Consign me. But I think, uh, well, Tansini is, is from people that, um, cuando tú vendes, tú, tú, tú tienes un artículo y se lo, eh, alguien más se ofrece a venderlo por ti, entonces tú das en consignación, pero no, no estoy tan seguro. But... Maybe we can take the risk. Okay. Oh. Ah, but it's missing the that, that one. The second part. Mm -hmm. Or maybe D. No, consignis letter B. A person. Or firm name in a freight contract to whom goods have been shipped or turned over for care. Yeah. Is it uh, number two, letter B? That's, that, I, they're not, not number, yes. Uh, <laughs> yeah, erase that, erase that, or switch. Maybe you can switch. Number six, letter D. Number two, letter B. Uh, uh, give me a moment. I, I'll, I'll, I'll be right back in a couple of minutes. Okay.
All right. We are all done, right? Did you get them all correct? The first one, customer service, what picture did you choose? A, B, C, or D? A. 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 C. C, right? A C. Yes, the customer service is picture C. Inventory management? Letter? B. Letter B? B. D. 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 Right. Do you use capitals or lowercase? What works better? Capitals, right? I use lower case. And it works. Mm -hmm. All right. Packaging? Letter B. Uh -huh. And loading materials? A. A. That was the easiest part. <laughs> mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I know. Look at the following words expressions and try to list them under the correct issues given below. Managerial skills. That comes from management, right? So what do you get in that one? The first column? Business, business success, success and leadership. Leadership, leadership. Okay, business success and leadership. That's so important in nowadays work, but I think it's hard to develop this skill because, I mean, we don't get probably many role models like real or people we know as a role models for leadership in mathematics graph integral and statistics okay statistics mm -hmm. and integral okay the statistic. An inventory. Finish good, raw and materials and stock. Finish goods, is the raw material. Yes. And stock. Yes, no, it's okay. And stock. In the staff, a full time job, human resources, performance, appraisal. Mm -hmm. Appra appraisal. Yes. Appraisal. Okay. Language. Okay. Full time job, human resources. And yes. Performance appraisal. Do you have any performance appraisal at your work? Or any way of of praising the good work? Mm, maybe not like they say about that, but I think that the boss just see if we finish the thing that you have <laughs> they, they that she have assigned in the in the, in the job. Ah, okay. She just a good job. <laughs> she just recognizes. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. but any other type of coupons or rewards short days, days of that type of appraisal? No, really. All right, match the words with the definitions. Carrier, letter. 
Another the company that transport or convey goods. Uh -huh, that's right. Company that special yeah, company that transports or conveys goods. That's right. Right forwarder. Letter F. A person or business that arrange documentation and travel facilities for companies dispatching goods to customer. Okay, suppliers. Letter E. Company which supplies parts of services to another company also calls vendors. Okay, letter E. And Polish contractor or haulier? A. A company which carries goods for road by road actually. We didn't know that one actually. Courier. Letter C. Company that specializes in the speed and service delivery of small goods and packages. Yeah, I think this one is the most common way. Courier services. And consign consigny. B. Person or her name or, or in a freight contract to whom goods have been shipped or turned over for care. Got it. Let's check it out. Oh my god. Oh yeah, in the part two, I think sometimes because we don't write it exactly the way it is. Yeah, you can just copy paste. <laughs> All right. mm -hmm. Yeah, that was that would be the easiest way to do it. Yes, definitely. Okay. Let me just get something from right here. Oh, yeah. Okay, we are still pending a couple of lessons from this unit. And wait a second. Something is killing me. Okay, so I bet... We're going to take our time, a couple of classes more to finish up all this content from this unit. So far, we have covered all this. And since this course is of five weeks, we have 25 sessions on this course. So that's why we don't go like every week, every unit. But we still have some time to cover that up. Yes, and this, yes, started just right here. So we've been talking about logistics, very entertaining, interesting, and engaging topic, actually. So we are up to here on this lesson. We're still talking about the third part of logistics and how to choose and the criteria that we must take into consideration before choosing the right their body logistics service, right? Of course, on the next class, we're gonna start over the expressions of uncertainty. So you can take a look, you can try to um, get familiar with them and try to also to advance on the platform exercises, try right? to uh, reach to the point in which we are on the, on the physical book so that you don't have too many exercises accumulated for the next week, right? So we're just gonna get a quick reading on this. How to use expressions of uncertainty. I think on the first unit we'll use expressions of certainty, right? So now it's the opposite, right? So expressions of uncertainty are used when you need to say that you are not certain about something or that something may or may not be true, or when you have incomplete knowledge about a situation. So use a comma after the expression of uncertainty when they precede a clause. So the first one say, I wouldn't like to say this for certain. So all the expression is like, 
I don't think I'm quite I'm quite sure, right? So I wouldn't like to say this for certain, but the former financial situation may lead to layoff. Did you get any report on when to expect the products? Not to my knowledge, so I'm not quite sure. So I think that they are delayed. As far as I know, coma. So when they introduce, okay, uh, close. When they introduce, let's say, a thought, right? A belief. Mm -hmm. Okay, they are introducing. I mean, they are placed at the beginning, and they they are separated by a comma. As far as I know, most companies selling goods use a uh, third party logistics for less some domestic functions. Then I doubt and it's very unlikely do not need to be followed by the coma. So these are like the exceptions, even though they are at the beginning introducing the clause, right? So the example, I doubt it is a good idea to hire third party logistics if you need to control the safety of your company shipment. And it's very unlikely for a minimum size business to be able to ship it on its own. So these are the other two expressions they are using. And of course, you might say there might be some others. Yes, for sure. Right. But this is just for you to have an idea, for you to start investigating, getting familiar, practicing with this next topic. All right, for now, I'm taking the attendance for the second time. Hopefully, everybody has survived. Let me see. <laughs> okay. Here we go. Abigail. Question. Atilio. He got home or he didn't get home? Oh my God. I'm still wondering. Elizabeth and Stephanie? On a call, probably Emerson. Present teacher. Great. Fernando, did you arrive? Present teacher. Yes, finally. All right. Safe and sound. Yes, thanks. <laughs> okay, good. All right. Uh, Francisco, Hazel, Julissa, who oh, happened to see her, Carla, Luis Javier, Luis Miguel, present teacher, hi, very tired, <laughs> Miguel, Present. Hey, Manuel. Marilyn. Present. Mario. Roberto. Isau. Ronald. Victor. Vidal, Walir, present, great, Carlos, present, thank you, all right, so Stephanie <laughs> and Vidal answer on the chat, thank you, well, anyone available for the one-on-one? -on -one? Or anyone who needs to consult anything? No? Okay. Have a good night. Have a wonderful weekend. Rest, recover, charge batteries. And I'll see you on Monday. Good night, teacher. Good night. See you night, teacher.
I don't know if you if you take assistance. 